Hi guys, it's me Jimmy Agig. Today I'm gonna talk about the CS50. CS50 is a computer science semester, is a computer science course, is a computer science MOOC offered by the Harvard University Extension School or you can just say in simple word Harvard College in whatever sense you wanna say, just say it. Basically, I'm doing the introduction to computer science, I mean the CS50 from the ETX verified certificate only I pay 50 bucks, 90 bucks. So it is a four way you can do the real computer science semester from hardware. One is you can do it for free from edx.org which is cost you nothing. Uh, at the end of the course, at the end of the semester or whatever you want to call it, they will give you an honor certificate. Second is you can do the verify certificate. It means that it's very well verify by the ETX and then a hardware university. Third is you can get a certificate directly signed by Dave and fourth is you can pay 2200 US dollar and then get a credit certificate. I mean you can get around 8 credits if I'm not wrong do not sue me. Basically it means you can complete the introduction to computer and CS50 course with credit and then you can transfer this credit to another university or you can complete your whole degree from the hardware university extension school. Basically it's a hardware university extension school. If you don't know what is hardware university, hardware university is, is the best best university in the world it's rank one it's rank number one in the world most of your people are using oxford 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 i have nothing against uk education i love uk basically i have joined one or uk university in in real world especially in hong kong really we do not care about uk education even if nah, you go it from oxford or some kind of like university of west england we will say it's okay but in most of Hong Kong or in, in most of the developing countries in most of the Asian country like South Korea my wife is from South Korea in that kind of country if you get a, some kind of certificate from American University especially from Harvard they will really hire you even with an owner certificate with that owner certificate even they will hire you with a verified certificate is great basically my plan is that i will complete my cs50 introduction to computer science firstly for my knowledge i'm a web developer but i really couldn't grab cs i'm an it guy basically i'm an it guy i love to work on hardware i love to install computer i love to repair computer i love to configure computer i love to i love to support window or server but when you come to cs Oh, my brain basically back in college I started I mean I try my best to work hard in the examination so I can get selected in the computer science degree but they didn't accept me they say I failed in math indeed yes I failed in math I get around 46 marks the passing mark was 60 mark I really suck at math I mean I can duct tape math but I really couldn't understand I mean especially the mathematics what is the intersection union or that kind of crap really I couldn't understand so I really stay away from CS but as my life go on I try to move from the hardware before I was a computer repair technician but computer repair business were dead so I start moving to web design web development I started with the WordPress website this is my old notes basically I started the WordPress website in 2012 and then I move into the PHP development so but I always face a problem for example if I'm working on a big project sometimes I really couldn't understand the programming language yes PHP is easy but I really sometimes couldn't understand the algorithms I mean the concept of, of it basically I didn't have a like a regular training for my university or from an uh, institute or even I didn't have any degree I mean specialized degree in CS computer science or basically in web development so I most of the time I have learned on my own I buy books I mean I I basically rent video courses online and I teach my son but I always have a problem with computer science so I said to myself no Jimmy you need to complete this semester and then at the end of the semester you will be like awesome in computer science you can do any project you want everything every kind of concept will be clear in my mind after I completed this introduction to computer science within four to five months and secondly I can put on my resume that I I got a verified certificate by EDX from a Harvard University Harvard basically basically the people can easily hire me I have seen in my life whenever I talk to one of the employer I was talking I said if I get a certificate from Harvard University a one semester certificate that I completed at the CS50 he said CS50 yeah of course I will hire you mm, basically my jaws were dropped I said really will you hire me yeah, he said, basically, I'm currently, I'm not doing any job. I'm doing a freelancing. 
basically I'm a freelancer web developer basically right now so I'm going to uh, basically I'm in Hong Kong in coming months I'm moving to South Korea where my wife is so in Korea basically and it will help me even at the end of the day nobody hire, hire me who the hell wanna become an employee I can start my own business I can work on really big project basically most of the time I build small web application small website I couldn't build master enterprise website basically Sometimes, uh, basically, I build stuff which I know. Sometimes, I really can't understand the algorithm. I, I, I don't see the plumber from Ellison. Yes, I have taught myself a lot, but still, I get confused in the algorithm, all the computer science stuff. All this basically, if you learn from Dave, computer science will be the most easiest subject you can learn. But if you learn from somewhere else, basically, computer science is one of the most hardest subjects. Just click the link below, I mean, click here, and then you can watch my video How to Become a Web Developer or a Software Engineer without going to college. In that video, I have talked about basically. You can becoming you can become a doctor easily if you can really study hard, but you couldn't can complete your computer science degree with a lot of help. I mean, going to a computer science major, going to a computer science degree is like going through hell. But after you get your computer science degree, you will be worth in millions of dollars. A lot of companies are really willing to hire you, spend money on you, develop you basically. But completing or I mean breaking the introduction part, basically the most harder thing is not the middle level, not the higher level. The intro level to computer science, understanding the intro level, the basic fundamental, the basic computing is not easy, it's really freaking hard, it's like a hell, I mean basically you are thrown in a hell, if you just go to any university, if you attend IA, basically attend one class of computer science in my university, basically I was in computer engineering major, but I choose, I mean one module for the computer science class, oh my god, oh my god, it was a computer science introduction with Java, I really couldn't grab everything was I mean jumping he was showing me 0 1 1 0 DC binary number my brain was really hurting I was freaking out but 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 when I I mean just completed my week 0 from the Harvard University by edx.org Dave really thought in I mean much better way basically he have thought I mean this is I mean basically this means if the lamp is on it means one if the lamp is off it means zero basically for example i can show you an example this is water bottle it says i mean full it means one this is empty it means zero one zero 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 one one zero it's one is zero like this so i mean i really couldn't i uh, after that i really get the concept before i really couldn't the grasp the con concept of the binary number Basically, I will say education is nearly become free. Harvard University, one of the best universities in the world. It offers you four kinds of way. One, you can do it for a free with the honor certificate. If you just want to learn computer science, second is you can go for the verified certificate. Third is you can I mean, get a certificate directly from the hardware. It will be signed by Dave. It will cost you 1,000 US dollar 40. I mean, get a credit hour from the hardware university by paying 2,200 tuition fees. Nothing bad. It's awesome. It's up to you. Decide which, I mean, part you want to go. Basically, I will most of the I mean recommend for a developing country like India, Pakistan, all days I mean Pakistan and Middle East go with a verified certificate. It only costs you 90 US dollar. If you couldn't afford 90 US dollar verified certificate, man or whatever you are, just stay away from it. And secondly, basically in, in this uh, CS15, I have basically seen a lot of women. Women in computer science. The future of IT will be basically there will be a lot of women. IT is changing. Basically, IT or the computer science or the programming is a domain of man only. Man do real programming, Java, C. But basically, when I seen the lecture of CS50, there's a lot of women in the lecture hall. It's up to you. And finally, then nothing different if we are in the Harvard University in America in the campus, you are listening to a lecture, or you are somewhere in an African country. You are listening to the lecture, nothing is different, everything is same. Basically, I will say Harvard University is one of the best universities in the world. Just go to their website and subscribe to my channel. It's me, Jimmy A Geek.